Welcome back everybody, thanks for joining me again on another video, this is ZDS here bringing you part 6 of my Pokemon Omega Ruby Let's Play, and in this video let's just cut right to the chase and get to the gym. I'm not gonna fucking beat around the bush here guys, this gym is gonna be pathetically easy. I say that and then watch me get my butt completely handed to me. Oh my god. Hopefully it's gonna be easy, we'll see. Pardon the noises, I'm shifting. I'm adjusting my butt. Go with disarming voice. Oh, I hate detect users. Detect and protect are so annoying. I'm equal level with most of this gym, but I am four times resistant to fighting type moves. Strong against fighting types and resistant to psychic type moves, too, so. Oh, for the love of God, stop protecting yourself! Uh, I'm tired. Not really. And now it's meditating. You can meditate all you want, it ain't gonna change your fate. Your fate is to meet your end at the, at the hands of my glorious Rolfs. Okie dokie. Let's go this way. I think that's kind of a dumb gimmick in this gym. I don't like that they changed it. I would have preferred if they kept it the way they had it in Generation 3. Maybe that's just me being a stickler for nostalgia, but I do like it better in Gen 3. Here we go. Oh, low sweep. Okay. Four times resistant, bitch. Lower my speed all you want. I'm already slower than you. Confusion! Oh. <laughs> I got a little cocky there. I was assuming that was going to be a one-hit knockout, but it was not. It's a three-hit knockout. Or two. Oh, crit. That's why. I was wondering why it was two-hit KO. Level 14. This is the perfect gym for Rolfs. I will probably be doing some rebattling of some of the trainers I missed in, uh, in between videos. I don't remember if I said I was going to level grind or not, but I didn't end up doing so, so... Your turn. Let's go, lady. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you! What is with the people in this gym and being so damn violent? And nice crotch shot, by the way. Hope you're wearing panties. Actually, hope you're not wearing panties. Actually, wait. I don't know how old you are, so I think that might be wrong. <laughs> Let's just disarming voice your meta tight <laughs> before I get myself in trouble. Here we go. The voice of the disarmor. I probably won't even need Beautifly for this gym, just in case. I'm yawning too much. Why do I yawn whenever I record? I mean, I'm having fun, so I know it's not that. Definitely going to get rid of uh, something for Headbutt. I'll get rid of Leech Seed. And Machop. I think his Makuhita, Brawly's Makuhita might be a problem, because I think it has knockoff. At least I hope it doesn't. Don't remember. If it does, it's going to pose a really big problem for me. Like... A seriously big problem. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't, though. We'll, we'll see. If it does, I still have, um... Beautifly. Okay, so let's see. Whoops. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do some healing first. I got way too many orange berries. I'm gonna give one to both her and Beautifly, and I'm also gonna actually I'm gonna give one to um. There we go. I'm gonna give one to Marsh Tomp too. 
Marsh Tomp is kind of going to be my, my backup player here. Rolls is really going to do most of the legwork in this gym. I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. Hold on, let me give him a cool Surfer Dude voice. <clears throat> I've been churned by the rough ways of these parts. Yeah, and I've grown tough using the cave at the outskirts of the town as training ground, as well as using the equipment in this gym. So, <laughs> you want to challenge me? <laughs> Let me see what you're made of. Let's do this. That's my best attempt at a surfer voice, guys. Sorry if it's horrible. Yo, gnarly, bro. Let's do this shit. Go Machop. <laughs> Can I just say the Machop looks freaking sickly with its ribs exposed like that? Oh, he's on level 14. Okay. This actually shouldn't be too hard after all. I say that now and then watch me get fucking one-hit KO'd by his fucking uh, Makuhide. I don't wish he didn't hit himself. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Once again, just shifting myself. Okay, one more confusion. Goodbye. Might be able to level to 15 at the end of this gym. Ooh, it's two levels higher than me. Confusion. Oh. Yup, I knew it. It had knockoff. Holy Jesus! You better kill it with this strat, damn it. Okay, good. That thing almost one hit KO'd my freaking Ralts. I know Ralts has bad defense and Makuhina has decent attack, but God. That was a close one. We received the Knuckle Badge. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't stop yawning. The Knuckle Badge makes all Pokemon to level 30, even those you get in trades obey without question. <laughs> you know what? I think you can make full use of this too. I'm sure this will help your Pokemon bulk up muscle. Don't you mean bulk up some muscle? Samus is like really bad English. Bulk up temporarily enhances the power of Pokemon's muscles. The more boot, the move boosts attack and defense stats of the Pokemon. <laughs> I can see your talent becoming a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with trainers one day. I look forward to the day when I can surf your giant wave. By the way, have you been to Granite Cave? It's located in the north of this town. It's full of fascinating stuff like rare stones and wall paintings thousands of years old. My friend Steven rushed to the cave after I told him about it. Alrighty, gym is done. Gym is done, son! Let's do this! Get the fuck out of here! This is the only gym in the entire series that is literally a gym. Like, as in an actual real-life gym. With exercise equipment and everything. And locker rooms. All that stuff. So since Ross nearly died, we'll go ahead and heal her up, along with the rest of my team. Still not 100% sure about my final team, though. I, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to skip out on a fire type. Might go with the neck trick, I don't know. There should be an item right here. No? Here? No? Oh, I guess they moved it. Should be nine over here, though. There we go. Protein. Pretty cool. I can either use that on my Pokemon to increase their attack stat by 10 EVs, or I can sell it for 4,900 Poké Dollars. Which is almost four times more than what I got from... Or more than double what I got from frickin' Brawly. Now let's get our second HM for Flash. They completely redesigned this cave. In between generations, from Gen 3 to Gen 6. Don't know why they did so, but they did. Now I'm going to go ahead and give Flash to somebody. I'll put it on Beautifly for now. 
organize my TMs here. I like having them by, by number. What the? Oh. Duh. Didn't activate a repel, stupid. If you really want to cheese Brawly's gym, you can always come into this cave and get a Sableye, I think. Or you can just get um, a Zubat, too, and live it up to, like, 13 to learn Wing Attack. There's a lot of different myth techniques you can use to defeat Brawly's gym pretty easily. Rolf's is just my preferred method, since she's uh, four times resistant to all of his Pokemon. However, that knockoff was something I expected, but didn't expect. Calamity Cannon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. These paintings are cool, though. I like them. Hmm. Staring intently at the wall. He's got, like, no balls. Then again, I guess I didn't want to draw it like that. Mm. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see if I can do a voice for him. So the ancient world, their primal forms once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon with terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm, it seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm? You are? Ah, I see. It's a pleasure, Zodiris. My apologies. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I traveled here and there. Today my journey brought me here, but what about you? Oh, a letter for me? Why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Ring. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything in particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes. But not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking, all, looking at you all together, Okay, that that just didn't roll off my tongue properly. <clears throat> Good luck to you. I must be going now. I just imagine him having like this very soothing, soft, sophisticated voice. I can't imagine Steven with like a gruff voice, you know. It's funny because I'm an amateur voice actor and I can't do voices for shit. Maybe that's why I'm still an amateur. Okay, so I'm not going to be catching any Pokemon in the Granite Cave since I already have all the Pokemon that are in there and I don't really have anyone in there that I want for my team. I could always use Golem, but yeah, I think I'm going to pass. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and head down to the ship thingy Kadoodle and head to Slateport City. Lilico City? I always get those two confused. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon and my Twitter are down in the description down below, so support me if you have the ability to. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making you do fun one video at a time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Damn, I'm good at that. Have a good night, everybody.